This is your girl, Civil Disobedience, bringing you the latest in So Y'all Wanna Rap and Gang Bang News. I want you guys to leave your thoughts and opinions below. And I also want you to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel, Sherlock Home Girl, for popular culture and political news. And so it looks like Young Thug and his, I guess, protege, Minty Gunna, are facing some serious RICO charges. And if you don't know what a RICO is, it is basically where the government or state has enough information, witnesses, and evidence on you to where they don't have to give as much information to the court per se to arrest you because the information is so well known, I guess you can say, that the charges don't have to be brought under the same procedure and process that you would normally expect charges to be brought. In other words, they have operated so flagrant and out in the open that the charges are basically well known throughout the city of Atlanta. In fact, Young Thug and Gunna went to an, to an Atlanta correctional facility last year and they basically bailed out a number of violent offenders and so they're saying that this was the base of young thug and Ghana creating a gang so to speak so young slime life or young stoner life is now being called an actual gang and i want to know what you guys think about this i mean do you think that these young men should have just left the streets alone, once they started making money, I definitely think so. I just don't see how they thought they were going to get away with trying to create a gang and be multimillionaires and famous. I just don't see how they thought all three of those things flowed together. And so I want to know what you guys think. Do you think that Young Thug and Gunna were kind of being a little delusional? I know Young Thug said a little while ago, if you're broke, you shouldn't have kids. I wonder what he thinks about that comment now. Leave your thoughts and opinions below. Subscribe to my channel, Sherlock Homegirl. Peace.